Hey guys, so I've got a new tutorial today and this is going to cover something that somebody suggested which was something you could use in a horror game, so sort of like a sanity meter or something that when you get scared in a game it makes your vision go blurred and then you know it goes down depending on if you blink or you know due to a matter of time. So really what we're going to do is you know cover it in sort of four different stages because I'm going to use four different scripts to control each different thing but um, yeah, it's going to be quite you know simple in each case so in my scene I've got my first person controller which has got a camera on which has got my blink um, my blink element set up from another tutorial and all my camera's got on is a motion blur component so if you go component um, image effects and then you go to motion blur and you want to add that um, you can follow my other tutorial which is about blinking and get that and I've got a lot of boxes called scare with a box collider on so that's going to produce the actual scare that we want so what we want to do is create a new script and call this insanity manager and then we'll open up this in mono develop and then what we'll do is we're going to write three variables one called current sanity as type flow equal to 20.0 then we're going to write another variable called max sanity and set that as type float which is equal to 100.0 and then variable min sanity as type float equal to 0, 0.0 and then we're going to write function update and within the update we'll have two curly brackets and then we'll say if current sanity is ever less than or equal to 100 then the current sanity minus equals time dot delta time and then below that we'll also say if current sanity is greater than or equal to 100 then we'll add two curly brackets and say that current sanity is equal to max sanity so we can never go above 100 and also for going for below if current sanity is less than or equal to zero then we'll add two another two curly brackets and say that current sanity is equal to minimum sanity with a semicolon and then what we'll do is add a quick GUI at the bottom so we'll write function on GUI add two brackets add two curly brackets below and say that GUI dot box open brackets rect open brackets again 5 comma 5 comma 55 comma 25 close the brackets add a comma put quotes write sanity close that up add another GUI dot box rect open brackets right 65 comma 5 comma 55 comma 25 close that up put a comma right current sanity dot two string open that up put a zero in the quotes close that add a plus in quotes add slash add another plus and then write max sanity so that's just going to show our um, current sanity on the screen and that's just going to hold a case for each of our values and never let it go above and beyond what we want it to do so next what we'll do is we'll cover when we actually hit certain amounts and how it creates the dizziness on the motion blur so if we create another javascript and call this dizzy what I'll do is add these two to my insanity folder I'll open up the dizzy script and once that's open what we'll do is delete those two functions and then I'll say private variable m blur as type motion blur and under there I'll have another private variable called sanity script that we've just created and have that type as insanity manager and then under there we'll write function start 
add two brackets, add two curly brackets, and then say the m blur is equal to game object dot find open brackets and we'll add well, we've got the motion blur on the main camera close that up right get component Oop. open the brackets and then type in motion blur and close that up then we'll write sanity script equals game object dot make sure that's capitals dot find open that up and we'll add it to the first person controller and then right get component open brackets insanity manager and close that up then we'll write m blur to begin with dot enabled equals false and then we'll actually start writing the update function and within the update function so we'll start off up function update then within here we'll say that if sanity script dot current sanity so we're just referencing another variable from that other script we just created is greater than or equal to 20 then m blur dot enabled equals true and then m blur dot blur amount and I found this from the actual script which creates the motion blur equals 0.2f with a semicolon so what that means if current sanity so the base amount is 20 so you're quite certain at the moment that's 20 percent shall we say then it's only a low amount of blur obviously if it was zero we wouldn't have anything and you can set that yourself so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these values again and I'll paste this in and again and again and again so what we can do is change the values so if we're 40% scared 60% scared say 80% scared and then 90% scared so each time it's equal to true but we're going to change the amount that we're putting so if we're 40% scared we'll have 0.4% of the motion blur enabled then we'll put 0.6 and then I'll have 0.85 and 0.99 because we can only go up to a value of 1 with the motion blur so that just means the more percentage that you were scared the more motion blur which will be added and um, depending on what the current um, sanity is in the other script so you know as I say whatever your current sanity is it will change it depending on this so now we actually want to be able to sort of have a scare action so I'm just gonna use boxes for this example but you know you don't have to use this you can use it whatever way you're gonna have it if you're gonna use it in your game but we'll call this script scare and I'll just add this to my insanity folder then we'll open up this new script delete these two functions and what I'll do is we're doing like we did before and we're doing a private variable called sanity script and that's type insanity manager and what I'll actually do is copy it from my dizzy script so if I copy this start function and just paste that in we'll get rid of the motion blur because we don't need it now we've got the sanity script referring to the insanity manager now that we're going to say function on trigger enter open brackets call call on collider close the brackets add to curly brackets and say if call dot tag is equal to player then under there we'll add two curly brackets and say that sanity script dot current sanity um, plus equals and we'll say scare percentage with a um, semicolon so what I'll do is add another variable called scare percentage set that as type flow and say we're going to set the scare to cause 20% of a scare so we'll just add this you can change this in the inspector when you do it and then what I'll do 
is also destroy the object so destroy open brackets then game object with a lowercase g and what that means is that when we enter the object it'll destroy it and then it will also add 20 to whatever our current um, sanity currently is and thus you know changing the motion blur amount so that's that and well I'm actually gonna add the last element <laughs> well before I do that I'll add all the scripts to it so what I'm gonna do is add insanity manager so you can see there maximum is 100 you can change all these values you can check you can add the daisy script and then what we'll do is we'll select all the scare boxes and add the scare amount so what we can see is that if we play the game now sanity is currently going down so we're getting you know more sane more percentage sane and if I walk into a box you know the motion blur picked up and again and when we get to 50 it starts picking up more 80 is quite heavy and then you know 100 we can't really see what we're doing until it falls down below those values that you set so we're gonna actually also create a way that you can make it go down quicker by blinking so we'll create another JavaScript and call this blink click and then I'll add this to my insanity folder and then open that up and then we're gonna have this very 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 similar to what I created for the um, blinking for my other tutorial so obviously we're gonna have the same elements that we had before so the two variables for top lid and bottom lid then we're gonna have a variable called regen sanity as type flow and we'll set it equal to something like 15 so every time you blink it'll let you regenerate by 15 then we're gonna have a private variable called can click set that as type boolean equal to true then we'll have variable timer as type flow equal to 3.0 and then also for my other script I'll copy that sanity script so we can refer to it and then what I'll actually do is I will pay, I will get this um, start function that I wrote elsewhere so it just refers to the insanity manager script and finds both the top lid and bottom lid game object so the only different thing we're going to do this time in the update function so function update add you two brackets add you two curly brackets and say that if we can click so if can click is equal to true then we're going to add two curly brackets and say if input dot get mouse button down open bracket zero close the two brackets so if we left click then we're going to add another two curly brackets and say that timer is then equal to 3.0 again can click is equal to false so we won't be able to click again then we'll actually say the two things that I had for my other script so top lid animation dot play and bottom lid animation dot play and then we'll say sanity script dot current sanity minus equals regen sanity so whatever amount we did and then what we're going to do is we'll leave those two curly brackets below and we'll say else add two curly brackets below that and say that timer minus equals time dot delta time with a semicolon and then we'll say if timer is ever less than or equal to less than or equal to zero then we'll add two curly brackets and say that can click is equal to true so what this does is if we can click so if it's true at the beginning it's true and then we left click it'll set the timer um, to 3 if it's not already and then we can't click again because it's it says can click equals false so we won't be able to it'll play that animation one regen stamina and then what it does it runs through this if statement then if it can't do this it'll run to the else statement and the timer will count down if the timer equals zero it'll be true again you can click again and you know it just keeps running through as many times as you want so then if we 
um, save that out and go to the first person controller again add the blink click and you can set the time into whatever you want and regen to whatever you want but make sure you add your um, top and bottom lids if you followed the other tutorial and then you'll see that it's a current current amount we'll add to th we'll just I'll collect all these boxes so it's quite heavy so now if I blink it went down by amount of 60 and I have to wait till it counts down I do it again and it's gone to 60 you have to watch on this side again 40 25 and you know so on so you can change this up to however you want to um, use it but in the end all you've got is three four different scripts the first script that controls how much sanity you have and it displays the GUI the second one depending on what your current sanity is it'll change the blur as long as you've got it on your main camera the third one is whatever's going to scare your character or create the change in the current sanity and then blink click is about blinking and reducing that amount that you've collected also when you walk into these colliders make sure that your first person controller is tagged as player but that's pretty much it and that sort of concludes what I was trying to show and it could be used in a horror game or something similar. So thanks very much for watching and if you like the tutorial don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.